Hi guys, what's up? I am Dinesh. Welcome you all to our YouTube channel. In this lecture, we are going to see uh, the very important concepts of the chapter thermodynamics. Here, we are going to discuss the relation between the thermodynamic potential with the thermodynamic variables. Along with, we will solve one more problem of previous IIT exam entrance examinations. Okay, so let's see what are the important things we are going to discuss here. Okay, so first of all, I want to inform you the thermodynamic potential. There are basically four type of thermodynamic potential. These are nothing but the different form of energy. Okay, so in thermodynamics, uh, the thermodynamic potentials used are the, your internal energy, which is represented by the symbol capital U then enthalpy represented by capital H then Helmholtz free energy represented by capital F and your Gibbs free energy represented by Z along with the thermodynamic variables which are related to this thermodynamic potential are nothing but your pressure P volume represented by V entropy S and your temperature represented by capital T okay we will see your the thermodynamic potentials uh, of which uh, function function of which thermodynamic variable first of all we see for internal energy then enthalpy then Helmholtz free energy then gives free energy we can derive this uh, relation between the thermodynamic potential and thermodynamic variables from the laws of thermodynamics but here we will apply some shortcut tricks to remember these relations with a very short time okay so I want to inform you that the thermodynamic potentials are state function uh, to determine the thermodynamic potential we just apply the initial and final condition but not the path followed okay so here uh, one more thing due to this reason the thermodynamic potentials are perfect differential okay so let's see the relation uh, of thermodynamic potential with thermodynamic variable just reminding a uh, one figure okay so first of all you simply draw a rectangle where you take all the four thermodynamic potential of the form u f z and h here to remember this thing you can assume that uh, your internal energy u as e so that you can uh, make it a cycle of e f z s okay so your let's again draw its diagonal who is going from minus infinity to plus infinity here from minus infinity to plus infinity for to remember this you go here p to v and here s to d this s t s to t so this represent that your internal energy is a function of u is your function of s and v from here you can see here the uh, enthalpy s is a function of s and p and here you can see your gibbs free energy is a function of your t and p and your helmholtz free energy f is function of your v and t as we ha i have already said that these are perfect differentials so these are the functions for the uh, thermodynamic potential u f g and h okay let's derive uh, the relation of this thermodynamic potential with the thermodynamic variables uh, in this way okay so first for your internal energy u you can write your du equals to as this is a function of v and s here you can see here this s is uh, from uh, your entropy is going from minus infinity to plus infinity so you can choose this as positive and is it is going from plus infinity to minus infinity take as negative so that you can write du as uh, this is positive so you can write tds and this is negative you can write pdv minus pdv similarly for second you can see uh, let's take your Helmholtz free energy you can write df equals to as this is function of v and t you can write this going from plus infinity to minus infinity this is also going from plus infinity to minus infinity that's why both uh, the variables are negative you can write here this as minus sdt 
माइनस पी डी वी ओके सो नेक्स्ट गो फॉर योर गिव्स फ्री एनर्जी जी यू कैन राइट इट एज डी जी इक्वल्स टू योर दिस इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ योर प्रेशर एंड टेम्परेचर हियर यू कैन सी द प्रेशर टू वॉल्यूम दैट इज दिस डायगोनल गोइंग फ्रॉम माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू प्लस इन्फिनिटी दैट्स वाई दिस विल बी अ पॉजिटिव पार्ट सो यू कैन राइट एज वी डी पी and this go uh, this goes from plus infinity to minus infinity so that you can write as s minus sdt okay and the final one is your for enthalpy okay so here you can write ds equals to her ds equals to as it is a function of s and phi and both are going from minus infinity to plus infinity minus infinity to plus infinity thus you can write it as TDS plus VDP. So these are your important thermodynamic relations, uh, which are uh, which uh, give the relation between your thermodynamic potential with your thermodynamics variable. Okay. So uh, let's see the problem which has already appeared uh, in IIT exam examination uh, about this concept. Okay. So. Here the problem says if U, F, S, and G represent internal energy, Helmholtz free energy, enthalpy, and Gibbs free energy, then which of the following is a correct thermodynamic relation? So if you know these four uh, relation, you can verify uh, these options. So first option says D U equals to P D V minus T D S. You can see for the thermodynamic relation U, you can say D U equals to T D S minus P D V. So that here this option is incorrect because the minus sign has interchanged here. So this is incorrect option. Let's uh, verify for the option B. You see here D H equals to V D P plus T D S. Okay. So if you see for the enthalpy. Uh, your D H equals to T D S plus V D P. So this is your correct option. Similarly, you can verify these two are incorrect options. Okay. So in this way, to solve this type of problem, you have to uh, know, you have to remember this uh, four thermodynamic relation in order to solve this type of problem. And from here, you can derive the Maxwell equations very easily. In the very next video, we are uh, going to see the Maxwell relations. in a very easy way okay so i hope this video is helpful and interesting for you so if this video is helpful for you then please like the video share the video with your friends and never forget to subscribe the channel thank you thank you so much